Yes, Abdul. Uh, hello, my name is Burak, not Abdul. Your name is Burak. What do you know? What, what Burak mean? Yes, I know. What? But it's not about my name yet. Right? What, what Burak mean? It is the thing that brought the Prophet to the mighty Allah. What is that thing? Sorry? What is that thing? Oh, you can look it up. I think you are wise enough to know where no, you Why are you don't tell me? This is your name. Okay, so you have a name. You do not know what it is. So, so that thing who took Muhammad to, to, to up to the sky. What is that thing? You said the thing. Is that a van? What does that mean? What al it is not. It is not really described because I think we couldn't even imagine what it is. No, it describes. It says he is a smaller than a, a bigger than a donkey and smaller than a mule. Yeah, so you okay, know, so he's an animal. You can tell, right? He's an animal, Why right? Are you asking me, is it like okay? So he's an animal. He is myself an... first before I can speak to you, or what's the thing? Yeah, no it? problem. But we are having a conversation, my friend. We have time. It's okay. Come on, we are having coffee yeah. together. Take coffee. Relax. So he is a he is a smaller than a mule and bigger than a donkey. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Do you agree that Muhammad he went really to the heaven in the top of a mule? No. W what do you mean, like? Can you repeat this? How you you are the one who told me that Al Buraq is the one who took Muhammad to heaven, right? Yes. Okay. How he took him to heaven? Somehow, like, mm. I can you imagine like uh, quantum physics? You know? No, I cannot like, imagine. You tell me he's a donkey anyway. What a quantum physics? He's not a spaceship. He's a donkey. So well, it's better than a spaceship, I think. I think it's some kind of a ship that. How? That if you would see it, you would like burn to dust like okay you know. okay so oh if you see this uh, this mule you are going to be born burned to dust no i didn't say that I, I i said i think if you try to imagine it you can like come close to it or you can see it then it must be something so fantastic that maybe let me change my words but maybe you would wish to burn to death because Wow. All about what you're saying. That's you know? nice. Okay, let me ask you now. As uh, long, so you, do you believe this is a physical uh, uh, donkey, or it's uh, it's not really a real story? Do you believe this is a really a physical thing? Um, yeah, must be somehow physical, but can be also something else. Okay. Now, when your prophet you describe him that he is between the size of a donkey and a mule, was he mistaken or he was imagining? I think that. He wasn't mistaken. Okay, it says here in front of me. This is Sahih Muslim. I was brought Al Burak, who is an animal, white and long, length longer than a donkey, but a smaller than a mule. Okay. Okay. Well, here, there is a question here about the color. Why he's white? This donkey. I don't know. Like, okay, because I because the, nobody it. allowed to go to heaven, even if it's donkey, if he's a black, he have to be white. That's number one. Number two. It is any witnesses for your prophet when he went to the seven heaven eleven. So, if there is anybody saw a donkey come into Muhammad, knocking at his door, his name is Mr. Al Burak. Muhammad he jump in the top of him, and then this donkey he fly to the sky. Did anyone see that story? I don't think so. Okay, why always Muhammad he have things nobody saw. Yesterday, I am a Middle Eastern, because as you know. Let me tell I you something. Let me tell you a story happened to me, and this is a true story. Uh, once I was uh, sleeping in the roof of my father in his house, and a big mule came to the roof, and he said, mm -hmm. I woke up, and I jumped in the top of him, and he took me to Mars, and he brought me back to Vietnam. And then from Vietnam, we went to the next world country, which is called Brazil. And from Brazil, we went to the next country in the world. It's called France. And then in our way back, we went to Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem, we took some coffee. And then in, in, in Jerusalem, I told him, I am really bored. I want to change the, 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 the taste of my mouth. So we decided to go to a border a country. It's called America. Do you believe in my story? I don't. Okay. Because, so why do uh, you believe in this story? Because, okay, you know why I believe this story. I think mm. the answer is obvious. But I want to ask you something else. You're a Christian, mm. right? Yes. So if you make fun about 
this story mm. we could also like an atheist atheist could mm. also make so much fun about the stories in the bible yeah, or the but things you, see, you, are, okay, believe, no you are believing in, no, no problem but you, you know? see but you see all things happen in the bible it's there's witnesses people they are witnessing the story so let us say maybe now i did not witness it but at that time there's people who see things as an example jesus he made the blind see he did not see it do it and, secretly and right? how can you be sure that this is true no, no problem. You can say, but you know, here we are talking about uh, uh, still a story happening in front of witnesses. It's not a guy claiming same things and nobody saw. This is what I'm so talking about. So you believe in witnesses two thousand years ago, but you don't believe. Yeah, but you remember what happened here. You believe in a person. He have no witness. Even his wife, she did not see that. Yes, but okay. It's so not, how it's not so, on me to okay, judge. Let, let right me ask you. Let me ask you. Is it not, is it know? possible? Is it possible that Muhammad he was uh, uh, illusionate? He he imagined things that are happening, but in fact they are not. Um, let me say it like this: It could be possible, mm. sure, but I surely like believe that it's not because okay. I, you know, why why I'm, surely why surely you believe it's not what. You just say the word surely and surely you know the magic you, I tell you why oh. because the same reason why I think you believe in God mm. is that you know You see all these beautiful things in life and how wonderful and fantastic everything is mm. maybe you see mm. How great the universe is and everything yeah, and you know the message that came to me is Muhammad mm. and there is so so much proven things also for me like what that this is the like what when, oh, when, Muhammad, right when because, Muhammad he said in the Quran that Allah he made the Jews pigs and monkeys is that something beautiful or this is something silly and stupid um, you can call it whatever you want but let me tell you like this hmm. the Quran and the, the message of Muhammad وسلم, is so hmm. diverse and you can always search for those things to make fun about to no, I don't want to make fun. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let us, let us you can always take these things, my friend. Where you can say it's about war, it's about this, it's okay. about that, and it's fun. Let us, let us, let us me. But and, also, there's so much more, and you mm. can take this. And okay. my friend, like it's one one second. I will finish soon. Mm. The thing is, oh. you will find whatever you are looking for in this book Correct. or in this message. Correct. So the question is not about like what is in it the question is what are you looking for mm. and what are you looking for me i don't i'm not looking for it i receive okay, what the make you and what I'm make you believe it. okay I, I will go with you what make you believe that muhammad is a prophet can you give me the prophecy of the prophet mm, there are a lot of things i think like what give me one what do you mean like you see when i say i'm a prophet it's mean i prophesy when I say I'm a doctor, that's mean I do uh, medicine. When I say I'm a writer, that's mean I wrote books. When I say I'm an engineer, that's mean I do engineering. Okay, now you call him a prophet. That is his profession. Now, what is the prophecy? Your prophet. You prophesy? can call. You can call me naive or like I don't know how, but the message has come to me, so I don't have to question it. You know. No, I'm, no, no. This is not a question. You I'm see, following you're trying. You're trying, you know, you're trying to speak to me I'm in your own this, logic, my friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. You said yes. to me a message came to me from Muhammad, right? Okay, the message is what. He is a prophet, so prophet he prophesied. What the prophecy he gave you? Like so many things. Like even when I do my prayers, give me one. I, I give, give me a give me a prophecy, you know my I friend. Mean? Give me a prophecy he gave you. How he called him prophet, but he have no prophecy. What do you mean with prophecy? You, do you, you know? Don't, his don't you prophecy? know what prophecy mean? Don't you know what prophecy? Prophecy is telling me something nobody knows, said by God to him or to the prophet. Correct. Sorry again, please. Prophecy is God telling me something, because the real prophet is God. He is the one who prophesy about the future. This is the future, the unseen. So you're a prophet, or something happened now, but nobody knows about it still. So, ah, okay. Okay. So uh, what? It's, what it's is the prophecy so of your prophet? Like, like, like what? Like I don't know. The simplest thing coming to my mind is um, about the the small and the big things that are going to happen when the world is going to an end. You know, small and big. What? Uh, the small and big things i don't know how to call it but um like the the coming of jaddal or i don't know <sighs> come on uh, the coming and the, the, the jail i mean what the jail muhammad he described the, the okay if we talk about it your prophet he described at the jail to look like allah how you accept that 
I don't know, but it's what maybe you something know? I mean, just my friend, like I'm, I'm asking you, like, how how a uh, Dajjal is he a man or he is not a man? I think he's something that pretends to look like a man. So he is what? Oh look, I don't I don't want to get deeper in this Dajjal thing, but the, okay, my the friend, let's go back to zero. Let's we, go back we to zero. We were talking about like okay, let's go back to zero. Of Muhammad, you have no did, give me a prophecy, did, you know. He said so many things about uh, about the mankind that happened, and he said that like, like thousand four hundred years like ago. What? Like what? Give me one. Do you want to start? Like on? like uh, there will be I don't know uh, the most uh, rich people will come from the desert or something like that. I really, think he, he said, said that. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For example, but there are thousands of example, maybe hundred or thousand, maybe ten thousand. I don't even know really, mm -hmm. but every time. I get some I believe in it for sure you know it's it's not a thing about question mm, okay uh, you know when you're a prophet who is a prophet gets a black stone is that something his God told him or he like he have a hobby to kiss stones I don't know where this is coming from but I believe that if he kiss some stones there must be some uh, something about it mm, okay Hmm. You're a prophet, he said. I asked Masha of Allah about the uh, uh, the pestilence. I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. It's a disease, you know, kill many people. He said it's a punishment which Allah He sent upon who is ever He wills. Is that right? Sorry, can you repeat it? The 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 the, the Blake. The plague according to your prophet Allah he sent it only for those people who eat them. Is that correct? The plague? Mm. What is it? In the hadith it says that that Allah he sent the plague on the nations who Allah decide to punish them. Okay, what does the word plague mean? Uh it's a disease, can you know kill people, you know, like it's like a let us say it's like a flu, but it's very bad, you know, it kill you very fast. Okay. It's and a, what was the hadith? Be, it can be spread. Okay, but what was the hadith? The hadith says that Allah He punished people who they have such a disease. This is a punishment from Allah, and your prophet he says that such a disease will never enter the city of Al Medina or Mecca. Okay, okay, but people they die because of this disease in Mecca and Al Medina. Okay, okay, so it's... how how Allah how in the hadith says Allah He punished those who have a plague, it's a punishment. And then he says that the one who died by the plague, he is a murderer for Allah. Okay, there. I I, I never said like that everything uh, must be like for like one hundred percent correct because mm. you know maybe this was about something else or mm. I don't know. Um, mm. I want you to go right let, now let and me, search. Let me let me let me ask. Let you. Hold me, on, hold on, wait. You can okay, go right okay. now. You can go and search right now. Did the plague enter the city of Medina? You will find yes. And many times, when Muhammad he says that Allah also said, neither the Messiah at the Jal, the false Messiah, nor the plague will enter the city of Medina. He's a liar. How you can say but, he's a prophet? He will go. He prophesy that okay, the plague but, will never enter the Medina. But maybe when we die, we will find out that this thing will clarify. You know what I mean? What do you like, mean? They enter already the Medina. It's, he said it's not. It's he not said, black and said, white. He said, my friend. He said neither the false Messiah. Neither the plague will enter the Medina, and you can go right now to the Saudi government website and you can check how many cases of a plague is happening in the city of Medina's and uh, the, the, the report of death. So, Muhammad in history, and you will see that Muhammad here is a false prophet. Okay, that, that can be true, but hmm. it's still not a reason, you know, to say that the whole religion is no, it's a reason because if, like I, if I claim to be a prophet and you prove me saying a lie, that's mean I'm a false man. What do you mean it's not 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 enough to prove? Oh, I mean, I mean, maybe we just understand it wrong because it can be no. Here we go. Here we go. Explain, explain it to or me. something like My that. Friend, it's, very, it's very simple. It's a plague. It's we know what it is. He promised it's not going to enter the city of Medina. What understand you wrong? It's very simple. Here we go in front of us. What what exactly is a plague? It's I a disease. Really don't I don't know, know what's your language. What is the language you understand? German. Okay, take the word and translate to German. P L A G U E. Translate. I don't know what is in German. Ah, it's a plague. Okay, okay, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I think I know it. Um, 
maybe he was talking about some specific plague and you know it, no my friend this is the only one that people knows people die by it by thousand by millions through history so it used to kill you know uh, Europe suffer from it Middle East suffer from it Jerusalem suffer from it uh, Saudi Arabia suffer from it you know okay so I have no answer for this but now I want to ask you something ask me something what is your real problem with with the Islam Islam well, Islam is a very filthy cult, spreading violence and hate, and it destroy uh, all countries I know. I mean, where I'm coming from, my country is destroyed because of Islam. As simple as that. Is it a problem for you or not? People no, it's not. Oh, I can truly understand that it's all right. Okay. But um, I know that people told you this often, but you also know that it's not about the Islam that brings hatred to really? places. Do you have the you know, do you have maybe the people can utilize it, mm. but uh, that also happened with Christianity. So mm. will we go and say, oh, okay, let's just rip off Christianity because it brought so many people there. Mm. Mm. Okay, here we go. We have Quran. Do you have a Quran with you? Yes. Okay, read for me chapter 5, verse 14, if you don't mind. I do mind because I don't want to read it right now. Why not? Because I read it in German. Read it in German, no problem. No, I don't want. Sorry. It's okay. I un I understand German. You know. Yes, but I just don't want to read it now. I speak all way. languages except except the language you understand. So I'm like your prophet. I speak all languages except the one you know now. So now you read it in your language. It says that Allah He spread hate and enmity between the Christians one to each other and you are the one saying to me there's some people they use it for their own agenda but your god allah himself he's saying i am the god who like to spread hate are you against hate my friend or you are you support hate i am against hate. okay so sure. how you support allah then if allah is saying i'm going to spread the hate and enmity between the christians so what we um, do now look even like even if he didn't say that hmm. Even today we would have. Did. It's not we even. Would, we would have hate, it's, it's, right? Okay, no, no, no. So he, he tells us. No, no. Okay, hold on. But, 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 but here we have a problem. For a bigger reason. So okay, but, but I don't question it. My, my friend, what kind of God? If 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 God is spread hate, Shaitan, he do what then? What is the but job look, of Shaitan? But look, but that's the story. Like even if there wasn't Islam, if even if there were weren't even Muslims my friend, I don't care. And you keep running from the question. You keep running. You keep, you keep, you keep running. You keep running. We are talking here about someone who claimed to be God. Don't tell me if there's no Islam. There's Islam. You will say to me there's hate. No, Allah says that the hate is exists because He spread it, and this this is your book. So stop okay. playing a game. I don't know. I don't it's care. Okay. I have no I idea. I tell you. Look, I, hmm. it's for me. Okay, maybe there must be hate, but and even if I think it's so bad and stuff, mm. but maybe it, it is for a high reason and it is for something I will so not understand. It doesn't matter now. what I say to you. Uh, let, it's, let, it's let us make it simple. Let us make it simple. Now. Whatever and I you say know, to you, you know, also we don't live for okay. this life. Okay, we live for the yeah, thank you very much. I have no time for kids' talk because obviously, whatever you say to me, okay, but you give me no answer. A second ago, you were speaking against hate. The second I showed you that this is the Quran teaching hate, suddenly you have no problem with it. You give me a speech about hate. If this is what Allah he do, Shaitan he's doing what exactly? What is the job of Shaitan right now? You must have believe in Shaitan. So if Allah is the one who spread hate, Shaitan is doing what? He's watching. He's saying to Allah, good job. Good job, Allah, good job. Good job. What is that? The one who should spread hate is shaitan. Shaitan should say, I will spread hate and enmity between them. But this is God. So God, he spread hate. And shaitan is saying to Allah, he's learning from him. Good job, Allah, good job. I'm learning. Keep going. So what you say to me, I have no problem with it. No, I don't want to read it. Why you don't want to read it? Violence. Isn't it the Quran says go and kill the Christians and kill the Jews unless they pay you money to live? Pay or die. That is Islam. So what do you mean do you, why you have a problem with Islam? Islam want to kill me. 
if Muslim took over pay or die and you are telling me what is the problem what kind of religion what kind of cult it says to a human being just because you don't agree with them pay or die and what kind of a prophet if you pay him he have no problem he will let you live and not to worship his God if worshiping Jesus is a big sin how come it's not a big sin no more if I pay him yes Rob hey Christian Prince how are you my I'm friend fine. God bless thank you you're doing a great job lately bro I saw your uh, debate yesterday with that uh, line of Arabia guy that you spanked yesterday line of Arabia yesterday yeah. Yeah, the, it's the same guy that I have debated two weeks ago. He calls he calls himself a different name on YouTube, but it's the same guy. Uh, I, you, yesterday, the only one I remember, he called me. He was a rabbit. <laughs> that guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Lying of Arabia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the same guy. I spanked him, and now two weeks later, you finished him off. So that's good, man. All right. Yeah. Uh, brother, um, you are talking about a really um, difficult uh, topic. Uh, I made a, actually I made a video about uh, this topic that is talking about the Muslim tactics that they use against us. Right? They always say, "Yeah, in the Arabic Bible you have the word Allah," so they they try to sugarcoat it. They use it against us. So yeah, they but they don't tell you that when they conquered uh, countries like Egypt, Syria, Iraq. That when, when they took our lands, they forced the Arabic language on us. So as a retaliation in the 8th century, we wanted to uh, translate the Bible from uh, Aramaic to Arabic. So there was no other good word to use. And imagine if they forced a language on you, right? No, uh, that it, was this never is, yours. This you is not the excuse. It's not about no other yeah. word, no other word, no. This is, this is, a, the, this is a, a, a deception uh, uh, act. From yes, those of who translated the Bible, they are not decent people, and they were even doing it in the partnership with Muslims when they when they translate the the the, the Bible to Arabic. You know, imagine they involve Muslims in translating the Arabic Bible they have. Yes, because they they were of course under control of the Muslims. So right. Muslim, this, Muslims, of this course, is why, in the eighth century, why the word right? Allah, this is why the word yeah. Allah is inserted there. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, because our friends, our Christian friends in the chat, for example, they need to understand when you are living in the 8th century under Islamic control with the sword of Muhammad on your neck, right? You pay the jizya and whatnot. You are forced to use uh, words and implement words no, when even you translate now. the Bible, uh, even right? Even now, can you use the words you like? You cannot. Here, go. Here we go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here exactly. we, go. we are in the year 2019. There's, yeah. no, there's no different. If you celebrate the Christmas, they, 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 they arrest you. If you speak yeah. one word about the gospel, they arrest you. Of uh, course. The, the, the prince of, uh, uh, of Dubai, he invited the, the Pope just to make his country look nicer in the front because a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, attack on Emirat and Saudi Arabia because of the war of Yemen. So he wanted to give him his country better image. So he invited a head of a, a, a church leader to make his country look better, not because he liked the Christians, and yeah, then, and then be, uh, he, you know, he did that. He did that. In the same time, if you eat a Ramadan in Emirat, they arrest you. Yeah. If yeah. you speak against the Prophet, they arrest you. If you say I left Islam and Islam is false, they arrest you. So what a change? Yeah. Nothing. Well, did, didn't uh, they always say that Islam is uh, toleration uh, towards other religions, and it's. It's the language uh, and the religion of peace. Absolutely. Prince, what are you? What are you saying, man? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Christian Prince, this guy that uh, let me tell you about uh, the guy that that you and me both have debated. This guy, he's part of a group, and they who, sit on who, a program who is this called guy? Discord. Which one? This, 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 the guy that you debated yesterday. This so-called line of Arabia. There's a guy who owns that server on Discord. Discord is like Paul Talk program, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a guy whose whose name is uh, Asadullah, basically the line of Allah, right? Mm -hmm. He's the guy who owns that server, 
and it's the same guy who reported our friend uh, apostate prophet that was on your live show a couple weeks ago. Okay. He reported him to the FBI. So it's Why? they are they reported are they are for, very organized. For, reported for what? Well, uh, apostate prophet. He used uh, before he left Islam. He was uh, a member or of a group or something, right? So to take him down, you know, to shut him up, they, they let the FBI uh, come to his house. And actually, the FBI came to his house and. Uh, the apostate prophet he told them everything right he gave them even a nice cup of coffee they drink his coffee and then they said hey there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with you so it basically he told them everything about the other guy hold on hold on the FBI, the the FBI so it door. turned okay. against them right hold on the, the fbi and my door let me see what, what they want i see i see <laughs> tell, the F. tell them you're talking to a guy who i see the F to and i see the b where's the i <laughs> I don't know. I, I see only the F and B. There's no I yet. I think the I is coming. Yeah. Okay. The, maybe the I is coming later. Okay. Maybe after you finish your call, they will. I mean, it's just stupid. Yeah. Let, yeah. Let, let me tell you tell you about this group. I have debated a couple of them, and I've put also some uh, debates on my YouTube channel mm. with those guys. I've uh, spanked them all, and now I'm trying to challenge uh, every every week. I'm trying to challenge that same guy who reported uh, apostate prophet. And he's not accepting my challenge for a debate. Well, so aren't, they, they aren't are kids. Aren't, cowards, aren't you afraid man. he reported the CIA? Look like those Muslims are. They are. They are <laughs> assistant to the FBI. <laughs> they, they are doing the duty of Islam, my friend. Suddenly, the, yeah. the so, suddenly FBI is their friend. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. But they don't know that the FBI will turn against them. Trust me. Yeah. Actually, yeah. if you if you accuse somebody with false accusation, it can turn against you badly. Yeah. No, because now the FBI had has his own personal information and it will turn against them trust yeah, me because this guy yeah. is trying to shut up every apologist including you me everyone that's that's there they have even started a project for it so imagine but they they cannot do anything right they cannot shut us down right nobody can shut us down let them dream no bro yeah so yeah i i, wa I want to thank uh, you uh, christian, uh, christian prince i want to thank everyone who is supporting us guys please keep Keep us in your prayers. Keep supporting us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. They cannot shut us up because we have our Lord Jesus Christ in our in our backs, right? So, guys, please don't be lazy. Support us. Support the warriors for Christ, and so they cannot sh shut us down. And they will never shut us down because we will keep debating them. We will keep exposing Islam for the glory of Christ. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Me. Thank you too, bro. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, somebody calling is saying in the next one. Let us see. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I just left Islam. Um, uh, November, end of November, 2018. Wonderful. Yeah, when, when, when I baptized in the church, they uh, baptized me in the name of Allah Father, Allah Son, and Holy Spirit. So should I uh, go to another country and do another baptism? Or as you say that Allah is a pagan God. Well, so, for sure, Allah is a pagan God, and this is wrong. However... You know, your baptism is not the name of the, in the. For them, they they were using the word as a word meaning God and the name of uh, of the Father, the Son, the Lord. But but it's a very st stupid of the one who did that act to do so. He's doing it based on ignorance and maybe like a good heart, maybe. But he is uh, he just copy paste of people around him. But I advise you even to do to redo your baptism in different church. Okay, I'll do that. Maybe may I'm going to Singapore to do that because it's. There's yeah. no way here in Indonesia like you can do like they will pray the same. Uh, they will do it in the same way anyway. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna do that. But I'm happy for you. What makes you leave Islam? Well, I watched your video for two weeks. Okay. And I just so I don't want to wait too long. Take to your time. Sick. No problem. It's... You know we have time. We are done with the Abdul. Take your time. Go ahead. So what, what make you leave Islam? Tell us a story. Guys, do you like to hear our sister here? Why she left Islam and why she became a Christian? Yeah, I left Islam because of your video. I watched for two weeks. And um, 
So I decided right away to leave Islam and because I don't want to be stupid too long, you know, if my whole life has been, it's been disease, like all those imam tell a, tell a lie. So when I, when I asked them, they don't have any answer at all. So I, yeah, I, did, I decided right away to leave Islam. Even my parents, the Muslim, they kicked me out. Um, so I have to find another job, maybe because I don't have internet. Even now, I use a neighbor, neighbor Wi-Fi. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is what I do, this is what you do. <laughs> this is true story. <laughs> true story, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, because I need to find a job and uh, get a rent a house or something soon, so I can get a... Um, Wi-Fi in my house because yeah. now I don't have. Uh, I stay with uh, my friend house. Yeah. Tell your neighbors. Tell your here. neighbors that you are using the Wi-Fi. Every. <laughs> <laughs> That's <so> funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, but, Mr. Prince, so, for everything so, you've done. So two weeks make you leave Islam. I mean. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't want to wait too long because it's it's everything you you do there is convince me and you you you. Put everything on the screen and and right away I learn and search in English and you write mm, but so not, I was thank you for someone who translate in Bahasa Indonesia because some of my friends two of my friends left Islam because of that video because they don't speak English but the thing is they don't put a full video maybe I just ask them to put full video so that can learn more because they just only put like 20 minutes 25 minutes it's really work you know people, yeah, yeah, it's, people it take, now it take time up. it take time to translate i appreciate appreciate those people who they are translating uh it's not easy you know to translate like imagine how many words me and you always just said now so translation mm -hmm. work is not really easy um but uh, uh you know i hope we will be able to have my book translated to the indonesian language so I people don't it. get when, when it's gonna publish i was waiting I, for it i have now almost ready the book in uh, the malay language and as been i've been told that the malay language is not the same as indonesian is that correct yeah yeah it's same but some some word is different but it's only it's some words so understand. You, you can understand in full yeah we understand it okay i will see how uh, i can publish it soon so you guys can have it and mostly i will publish it for free for so all I to give the book to my dad because he's he's you know he's been oh my god I, i'm really upset even though they kicked me out i still love them really yeah, i yeah, pray for them still, every yeah, day yeah, i still love them and don't hate anyone yeah, yeah 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 okay well i'm so happy if you have more friends they decide to leave islam they want to call us let them call and even if they don't speak the language you can translate you know, tell us yeah, the story. Yeah, I think also maybe translate in native language because we have a a lot of um, uh, different language in uh, Indonesia, like more than five hundred native languages. So I was yeah. trying, I was, I was trying to uh, put make video and put in a different translation. You know. Yeah. Well, I'm happy yeah. for you, my my, my friend and do. my sister. I'm so happy for you. And you, I, uh, and I, I saw actually a lot of Indonesian people leaving Islam watching the video. Yeah, 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 even even my friend. Yeah, a lot, a lot of Muslim left Islam. Yeah, this is why we say that it's important to share videos and to to, to translate those who speak other languages. Yeah. Have to do that because you know we we don't know when when we do it. Maybe people, maybe one person will love Islam. So yeah, you know, yeah we have to do that. Yeah, actually, a lot of people leave Islam. Trust me, and not only that. When you translate the like now, the one who is translating those videos to to Indonesian language, it is him who helped those who don't speak English to leave Islam, not me. You know, which means he he will get the blessing of the Lord for it for what he, because it is his work too. You know, what I mean, yes, maybe I'm the one who made the video, maybe I'm the one yeah. who have the knowledge, I'm the one who's speaking. But if he did not do that part of him to translate. Then those people will not know what we are talking about and they will stay now blind and following the pagan god of islam so you know when somebody translates he is getting the blessing of the lord for he himself now is in the mission and he himself he brought people to christ yeah yeah well thank you very much for calling my sister and welcome anytime to call if you have anything to say 
Okay, thank you. Take care. God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. bye, -bye. Hello. Hello. Yes. Are you there? Yes. This is actually well. I <clears throat> so I have a friend of mine that's uh is uh I'm Christian myself. I'm there. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. My friend, mute, mute YouTube, mute YouTube. I have a friend of mine that's Christian. I have a friend of mine that's Muslim. And he's sitting with me right now. Mute. Okay. Before you call me, mute YouTube, mute YouTube, so we don't have double voice. I will call you back. Okay, go on. Did you mute YouTube? Did you did you mute YouTube? Hello? Yes, did you mute YouTube? Okay. Yeah, we closed the YouTube. Okay, good. So what do you want to say to us, my friend? Go ahead. So <clears throat> I'm Christian myself. I have mm -hmm. a friend of mine. We're sitting here, we're talking, and uh, he doesn't believe anything that you have to say about this. He doesn't believe. I've showed him a couple of videos of yours, and I would like you to convince him, or then not convince him, but talk to him no about problem. this. Not him yeah, talk to me and tell me what is not convincing. It's not disrespectful or anything. You know, I grew up as a Muslim, and the things you describe doesn't fit in my brain. But, but it, just, it doesn't matter if it fits my brain or your pocket, my friend. That's what your prophet said. Um, am I, you I, I am showing you what your prophet said. So you say to me, it doesn't fit in my brain because your brain cannot believe it. And you are trying to go in denial because what your prophet is saying is not cannot, cannot be right. And this is why you say it doesn't fit in my brain, but I'm showing you on the screen everything I'm saying. Okay, okay. So do you, do you, as an example, now in front of us, do you agree with your prophet saying, I don't know what is your education, but do you agree with him that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be like her, and if the men have orgasm first, the baby will be like him? Do you agree with that, or this is silly? Okay, you said it's in Quran. Oh, this is now in the Hadith, but in the Quran, we can go to the Quran if you want. But what do you think? Isn't it, so, is, isn't it silly? And this, and this is Sahih. It and this is doesn't sahih. make sense. And this is Sahih. So what we would do now? This is what your Prophet said, what we would do? Okay, I have never heard any Hadith like that. My friend, now you heard, here we go. I'm showing the reference in the front of you on the screen. Okay. Okay, so and what, you said it's Sahih Hadith? It is Sahih, absolutely Sahih. So what we will do now? How your prophet can be a prophet, and he say, and you just you yourself agreed that this is cannot be right. Doesn't make sense, as he, as you said. Okay, so, so this is that you pull up. Okay, I'm not I'm not Arabic, and I don't fully understand Arabic. My so friend, I'm, I'm showing it in the screen in English, and this is your Islamic translation. This is Sunnah.com. I'm going to post the link for you in the chat. You can open YouTube still, but mute YouTube so you don't have double uh, sound. So I will post the link. Here we go. It is Sahih. So what we will do now? So okay, let me read this translation. Okay. Give me one second. No problem. Take your time. Can you scroll down your screen on YouTube? Yeah. Here we go. A little bit, please. You see the hadith number? And this is the whole hadith. The can you scroll it up, please? Okay, I put it up. You can open the link from your side if you want. I, I post it in the in the chat. On uh, did you okay? Let okay, me post it again in the chat. <laughs> okay, you're saying the man has orgasm and women have orgasm. It doesn't say anything like that. No, it says that. It says the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow, and whichever of them comes first. Do you know what comes first, me? Okay. Okay, comes first is orgasm, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so whoever of them comes so, first, the child okay. resembles the parents. Okay. Hmm. Okay. See, so it's it's it. I mean, so it's it. You are interpreting the things however you like. No, you give me your interpretation. Go ahead. No problem. I'm listening. So it doesn't say anything like that, the orgasm or anything. It's just c comes first. Okay, like, what comes uh, first mean? How do how do you, how do you explain this? No, thing? you no, you. I, I'm listening to you. You see, you are smart. You are adult. And I'm listening to you. Okay, what comes first according to your understanding me? 
It could be a biological thing too, you know, like whatever. My friend, a man's... my friend, you are, you are, yes. you are, we are adults, we are not kids. He is saying uh -huh. there, the water of the man is thick and white. This is about the sperm, is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay, so obviously you're talking about the sperm, about orgasm. And uh, he's yes. saying, and the women water is thin and yellow. So Muhammad, he think that women have orgasm too. And that the water he see in the vagina, which is supposedly yellow and thin, that is the orgasm of the women. And this is her sperm. So, and he says, and which over of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. Okay. Okay, so now based okay. on this, what you understand from comes first? Okay. So whatever, however you're explaining, like to me, I understand uh, whatever you're saying. But you just interpret is... Um, my friend, forget, forget about me. My friend, yeah. what's, your, what's your name? What's your name? Hassan. Hassan, Hassan, my friend. Forget about what I am giving interpretation. You, yes. you give me the interpretation. So what I, okay. okay, okay. I'm, 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 you, you have more knowledge than me and everything. I'm not, uh, I'm just asking questions to make things clear to me. Okay. All right. And I have never heard or read this hadith anywhere before. So, um, I don't know how to explain this end. I mean, so so you are saying that a prophet shouldn't explain these kind of things no, to no, uh, I'm his not, ummah? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying what I said to you first time that you said to me doesn't make sense. No. You, are, you are the one who said that to me, right? You said it doesn't make yes, sense. Yes, I did. Okay. I did. So I did. But the way make, you, the way you explained it to me, the way you explained it to me, you talked about orgasm and vagina my and friend, all that. Not, that doesn't no, make sense. No, but no, 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 that no. you put it on no, here, friend, it, it does make sense. No, my friend, it says whoever of them, which other of them comes first, comes about what? Is it about coming from the door? Is it about coming from the window? Or it's about yes. sperm? When you have when you have sex, okay. one of you does get come. comes. From, this mean, is called orgasm. This is called orgasm, right? Yes. Okay, so now we agree that the word comes first. This is orgasm. So you're a prophet claiming that the ones who comes first is the one in charge or the reason of the look of the child. So if the women have orgasm first, the child will resemble the mother, will be a female. If the if the male have orgasm first, the baby will look like the father. How in the world this is, can be a prophet saying such a thing? What is wrong with that saying that? My, because my friend, whoever comes first, had nothing to he do. Was, he, no. he was the prophet. He was the messenger. He's going to teach everything to his ummah. Okay, what is your education? What is my education? I'm going to college right now. Okay, can you do me a favor after we finish conversation, me and you, and check okay. in Google what is what decide the gender or the look of the baby? You will see that this has nothing to do with who have orgasm first. What does have to do with okay. this? So this is obviously a very clear mistake, and there's no way Muhammad... Okay, so, so I don't have like the uh, clear proof or evidence of yet now, but mm. the, the the science, it has proved that now, that gender and the male, it... it, um, it um, how do I say that in English? <laughs> mm. um, it can be decided by uh, a man or woman when they do, uh, for, uh, for, the, um, for the eggs or the sperm. Hmm. If you want, I can find that out my and friend, I can send friend, it to friend, you. Hold on. Muhammad is making it simple. Whoever comes first. So what is the main key? Coming first. Coming first. Now, let us go to the front. Uh, it's the same, the same thing, just to make things for you more clear. Okay. Uh, m m uh, a woman, she came to your prophet and she spoke to him in the front of his wife. Okay. And she said, she's asking him about if she have to uh, wash her private part for she have a wicked dream, sexual dream, okay? So, okay. Muhammad, he said this, read with me carefully. And this is, we can read in Sahih Bukhari or in Sahih Muslim. It says the following, which means this is a Sahih Hadith. Umm Salim went to Apostle of Allah and said to him, Apostle of Allah, is Allah is not ashamed of the tr truth. Is, ba is bathing necessarily for a woman? When she had sexual, uh, uh, a sexual dream. Mm -hmm. Upon this, the messenger of Allah said, "Yes, when she sees liquid in her vagina, which means this is you have to wash." Um Salama, this is the wife of Muhammad, said, "Messenger of Allah, does the woman have sexual dream? 
by the way, it doesn't say that. The, the women, the translation mm -hmm. is, is not really accurate. It says, does the women have such a thing, which means orgasm? He, the Holy okay. Prophet, he said, yes, let your hand cover dust, which means like, don't be stupid. If if this is not true, in what way does the child resemble the, 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 the uh, resemble her? So your prophet claimed that the sexual liquid in her vagina, which is yellow and thin, is the reason for the child. And he is telling the woman she have to wash it. She have to wash it. This is something not internal, external. It's a it's a liquid mm -hmm. she can see in her vagina. Muhammad he claimed that this yellow thin liquid is the reason for the child resemble the mother, as though what science says. And is this a hadith? Absolutely, it's sahih. Okay, can you give me the hadith number? And uh, sure, what what do you want? Which one? You want Sahih Bukhari? You want Sahih Muslim? Which one you want? Sahih, sahih Bukhari. Okay, let's go and give you Sahih Bukhari. Here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari. And yes, I'm going to ask it, this thing to my scholars and I'm going to clear with them too. All right. Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 130. Or you can go by uh, other reference, the English reference. Uh, uh, volume number one, number one, book number three, hadith number 132. All right. Hadith 132. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now let us go to the Quran. What about the Quran? Okay. Okay. In the Quran, have you ever heard about your prophet saying that the sperm coming from the ribs of the women? No. Okay, let's go to the Quran. In chapter 86, verse number uh, 6 and 7, and you can, can read you tell me the name of the chapter? Chapter 86, at tariq at tariq okay. Yeah. And as you see, I'm using only Islamic website, Islamic scholars. I'm not using my own interpretation. I don't, I don't do that, you know. But Muslim says, I go, okay, this is what it says. Let us go for it. Here we go. So this is at tariq chapter 7, Tafsir al Jalalain. I'm sure you heard of al Jalalain before. He's a big scholar, right? Yeah. Okay. Issuing from between the loins of the man and the breast bones of the women. Okay. What kind of God he says such a thing? That women... Okay, can you go to the, um, you said, issuing from between the lines of the man. Not the lines, actually. This is false. The translation is false. It says a sulb. Yeah. A sulb is the backbone. Backbone, yeah. yes. Hmm. Can you go to the, uh, the ayah or the part of the ayah before this one? No problem. We can go here. We go. Let me show you the whole Quran, the whole chapter. Chapter not, not the whole chapter. I just want I know, to see I know, this I, know I know. It's okay. I mean, you you have the right to to see what is before it, what after it. I understand. It's good because sometimes, like I said, you are more knowledgeable than me. I'm just friend. trying to clear my things out. My friend, trust me. I'm talking to you based on your knowledge. I'm not being hard on you. I'm I'm being like very patient, and I'm going with you. Here we go. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim This is not part of the Quran. This is a corruption. This is why it's not number one. By the sky. Um, Allah, He swear by the sky and there's a certain uh, a certain uh, a planet in the sky. And Wama Adrakam at Tariq, and Najmu you know. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then He says, Go here. Now let the man think of what He is a created. He is a created from a drop emitted, proceeding from the from between the backbone and the ribs. Surely Allah will be able to bring it back to life. And this is like supposed to be after you die. Okay. So where you are coming from? You are a drop emitted from between okay. the backbone and the ribs. Mm -hmm. Backbone of what? Backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. If you don't like Ibn Kath if you don't like a Jalalain, we can change the different uh, different scholar. Do you do you like do you have a specific scholar you like? So no, we can that's fine. Yeah, if you want, we can show you. Like, we can go to Ibn Kathir if you want. Do you like Ibn Kathir? No, that, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let's go to Ibn Kathir then. This is Ibn Kathir. We go here, Ibn Kathir, and I will show you in the screen. I'm choosing the verse in front of you. Okay, chapter 86. And by the way, Ibn Kathir is a big fat liar for me because always he tried to defend the Quran lying about the meaning but still we will use it to you know to show our point Ibn Kathir is not explaining the Quran he's trying to defend the Quran 
So look what Ibn Kathir says. I'm going to show you the whole screen. Hold on. Okay. So let the man see what he is created. This is alerting the man of, uh, 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 to the weakness of his origin. Okay, and what will happen to in the hereafter? And they continue here. He says, explain the mm -hmm. verse we're talking about. He is created from water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes out breasting forth from the man and the women. Does it say out breasting forth? Does it say that? It's not something mm -hmm. inside, it's something outside, correct? Out, breasting out, right? Breasting out. Out from where? From the man and the women. The man sperm come out of his private part, correct? Yeah. Okay. So this has come out. It's not at internal. And then the women water come brushed out too. And then he says, thus the child proceeded from both of them by the permission of Allah. And then he continued explaining the verse after it. <laughs> proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Meaning the backbone or the lions. This is the between two brackets. It's false. It doesn't say lion. It says backbone. More accurate. Or of the men and the ribs of the women, which is referring to the chest. This is false translation too. It's not referring to the chest. It's referring to the location of the necklace. Exactly. You see, when you put your finger like in down your your neck all the way, when you touch your uh, your, uh, your ribs, this, yep, is, yep. this is where Ataraib is. So Ataraib al Mara is the location of the necklace. I can show you the reference in Arabic. So your God claiming. That women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace. Women have a sperm coming from the backbone. And this gushing flow would make the baby. What do you say? Read with me. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. It the fluid, yellow and fine in texture. The child will not born except from both of them, i.e., sexual fluid. Hmm. So now, are, are you going to say to me this is my interpretation, or this is not my? I'm just sharing with you, my friend, what they, what you Muslims say. And okay. now, okay. and now, look what will happen. You go to your scholar, your scholar, he will say to you, "Don't listen to those kufar; they are liars." I say to him, "I am my, my friend. He did not. Uh, he he showed me Ibn Kathir." No, I'm gonna go and talk to them, and because uh, this is what like we. Like I want to make clear things in my mind, so I'm gonna to go to my scholar and I'm gonna ask these questions that you uh, explained it to me. Okay. Can, can, you, can, you, can you do me a favor? Yeah. What about you ask your scholar to debate me live on air? I'm gonna try that. I'm I'm not sure if he's gonna do that. Or not. Why not? I mean, he, he because by doing that, he can answer all the Muslims about this topic or any topic we are talking about, and for sure mm -hmm. he would do better job than you, right? Yeah. Okay. I will so talk. That will help everybody, and will that will stop me from making Muslims leave Islam? Do you know how many Muslims leave Islam because of me, my friend? Because until now we cannot find a scholar he can refute me. So maybe your scholar can do better, and finally somebody will stop this guy from making Muslims leave Islam. So what do you think? Tell him this. Yeah, is, I'm gonna. This talk. is a jihad for Allah. I mean, don't you want to stop the people from leaving Islam? Here we go. This guy, nobody can answer him. People that mm -hmm. see this, yeah. anyone who see this, he will leave Islam. There's no way this is this is God talking. It's yep, it. you're right. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna talk to him. Okay, thank you. So, guys, did you hear our friend here? He's a nice gentleman. I, I welcome all the Muslims who have the. I can tell that he have a good family, he have a good parents, because look how he talk. First, he speak with respect. He's not insulting. Mm -hmm. He's not calling names, and that is telling you how he grow in which house. The house he grow in, obviously, it's a good good mother, good father. Mm -hmm. They taught him how to how to talk to others and not to be. Uh, in like let not to go crazy and just to try to fight over being stupid i mean we have we we are talking in a human being in a civil way and this is what i like to hear from muslims always i wish all muslims are like you my friend yeah that's right that's what i was talking to my friend too while we both listen to your video sometimes and i see people cursing out and like this is not the right way to debate nobody can learn like that. right Anyway, my friend, I will be happy if you can get me your scholar. And if he said no, he will not debate me. Ask him why. Okay, ask him, yeah. Ask him, do sure. you want do you want this guy to mislead people? What shouldn't okay. is it your duty to 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 show everybody that he is not telling the truth? Or maybe he himself is misled. Maybe he can convert me to Islam. 
yeah for sure yeah I so i can get the versions i like versions to be honest with you i'm a mm -hmm. man because I'm i know that guys i'm a man so like all men we like versions i'm sorry what i'm saying maybe your scholar can convert me to islam and make me get some versions some virgins <laughs> yeah in the heaven don't you know that Allah he will give us a lot right now Allah he is making he, he is softening the skin of females in the heaven and he spent 1,000 years to soften the skin of each I cannot wait my friend they are so soft look like we can do slide on them 1,000 years to soften the skin of a woman do you, do you I mean I don't know how in the world we can believe in such a religion what kind of God does God is so no the scholar I'm talking about, he's gonna talk to you, and uh, he, I'm, I will make sure that he talk to you because the things you're explaining, there are people in Islam too that they are misleading. Like the things you are saying, you're talking about hoors, right? Mm. What is that? Is, um, is that misleading? I mean, it's sometimes it's exaggerating things and Why? adding up things. But I will talk to him and I will try that he talked to you because he's an old guy. He don't know about Skype or anything. And I am overseas. So I will try somebody can go to him and do a Skype conversation with you. Well, as long as he speak English, he's more than welcome. And we will be happy to talk to him. And we I, can get a translator for him too, if it's possible. He don't speak English. Well, if you can get me somebody he speak English, then it's better because translation make might make you know the answer lose. Because like you are saying that... Uh, like I said, I don't have so much knowledge about, I'm being honest, not about Islam or Christianity. I am just born Muslim in Islam, Muslim house, just grew up like that. I understand. I understand. I, and I'm not, I'm, but, I'm not blaming you for being a Muslim, my friend. I'm here, my duty here, uh, because we love the Muslims and we want them to see the truth. You see, if you love somebody, you invite him to the best. What is the best for a Christian? Ask yourself. The best for us is Jesus. Is that, do you agree? The best for me as a Christian yes, we, is Christ. We all believe in Jesus. So, so I am inviting you. No, you don't. You believe in the wrong Jesus. The Jesus you have in the Quran is insulted, is humiliated. You know, Quran does not respect no, Jesus. If 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 he is insulted, and Muslims believe in that, they are not Muslims. No, my friend. If you if you don't insult Jesus, you don't believe in Jesus in Islam. Let me show you. Do I want to show you? No, that's what not my parents taught me. No, your your parents they don't even know Islam the same as you. They are just born Muslims like you. Okay. okay, so the thing you were saying, no, I will talk. Yeah, you want to show me that uh, the about Jesus, yeah. peace what, be upon him. Okay, what about what about the Quran says that Allah he blow in the mother of Jesus vagina? Is that an insult? With my respect to you, I'm not trying to be a, a bad person. With my respect to your mother, if I say that to your mother, is that respect to you? It is disrespectful. Huh? It is disrespectful, but uh, okay, like. If you go straight to the translation of Quran, hmm. it's the tafsir doesn't say that. My friend, because they are lying and they didn't speak Arabic. The Arabic is very simple. It says farjaha. Faraj in Arabic is the vagina. He, she have a faraj. She is a woman. The farjul rajul is the is the penis. The farjul mara is the vagina. So when the Quran says that he blow into her vag vagina, I mean, obviously, this is a disrespectable. He can use many thousand, you know, Arabic language is very rich. There's a million words we can say. What the blow in her vagina? What does that mean? All right. And what, what about mm -hmm. Mary? She says, I am not a hooker. What kind of language is that is? You know, and the Jews, they said to her, you are, you know, you, you, your parents, they were not hookers. What kind of language this language is? What about your prophet saying the one who uh, who is proud about his inheritance? Tell him go and bite the penis of your father. What kind of language this language is? Okay, so that's what the confusion in my brain is because you explain all these things and I don't have much knowledge about these things. You explain hadiths and mm -hmm. ayats, uh, ayats from Quran, yeah. but like you were saying, people are leaving. So how may how, the confusion in my brain is why? Uh, so many people are converting to Islam then they meet me they leave Islam again doesn't matter they, they, This is their bad luck because they are deceived they lie to he would go I show reference I don't show my face. I see it in front of my eyes people convert into Islam every my friend, day Let me tell you you know when somebody convert to Islam the Muslim they will make tens of thousands for him That a person he left Islam, but when somebody leave Islam he hide his face <laughs> You correct nobody talk about it. Nobody did they dare to call they don't even dare to mention their names. So the story is different. The fact that ones who leave Islam is a lot more than those who convert to Islam. And not only that, 
those who convert to Islam they stay a year or two or three and then they leave Islam they find that the Muslims they did lie to them when they converted to Islam they taught them something and they found Islam to be something else that doesn't make sense <laughs> it makes sense because one idea like now how many time how many videos you saw in the internet saying the Quran is full of miracles scientific miracles how many thousands yes. right but do you, mm -hmm. do you do you know that not a single one of them is true that's not true okay choose one for me and I will get it busted right now in the front of you which one okay um can you go uh that 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 is the the one that starts with the ikra vismira bikalazi that explains the uh, whole thing about the reproduction like how the man is created okay i will go there you choose it my yourself it's not my fault <laughs> this is the chapter of al-qalam right al-qalam yes okay let us go there and we will see what your god he said and again you will notice right away that the first chapter muhammad he received from his god supposedly is wrong you know because uh, 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 how how Allah hold on how Allah he says such a thing proving the ignorance of the one who wrote the Quran okay. the Muslim they call this uh, in the Quran today al alaq read with me carefully you okay. are the, you are the one who chose this chapter right Yes. Okay. What what is with me? The first line in the Quran is a lie. Why? Do you know why? Why? You Muslims believe Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, how Allah he says to Muhammad read. Uh he said uh Jibril. No problem. How he said to him read, the guy he cannot read. What do you mean? Okay, if I know that you are a person don't speak English, should I ask you to speak English? No. Unless I do not know you that you speak English, right? So the one yes. who is talking here to Muhammad, either he do not know that Muhammad cannot read, or he knew okay. that Muhammad he can he cannot read, yet he is ordering him to read to make a miracle. Okay. So okay. what I understand according to my little knowledge yeah. is that message is for the whole ummah not just for muhammad no 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 this is a message was for muhammad was muhammad alone this is a verse was given to muhammad yes because he okay. was the messenger of god no problem what i understand from that you is see my friend my friend my friend hold on i speak arabic arabic is my first language i'm an arab it says here okay. Iqra okay. bismi rabbika not iqra u iqra for one person okay and this verse came to muhammad he was in the in the cave of Hara. All right. Yes. So he yes. was not speaking to a group. He was speaking to one person. His name is Muhammad. He said to him, Iqra. Here you notice the mistake because if Allah is all knowing, he should know that Muhammad do not know how to read. Secondly, mm -hmm. Muhammad, he said to him to Jibreel three times, I cannot read. The guy, he yeah. squeezed him three times and still he says to him, read. So what the point? Did he make him read? No. Did he know that he do not know how to read? If you say he knows, and yet he says okay, to I'm, to read. I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm gonna uh, uh, interrupt you my phone is about to die I'm gonna call you from uh, my friend's phone no problem. that's fine go ahead no problem thank you okay. hello yeah, babe. hello hello yes Yes, sir. Okay, this is you again, huh? Yes. Okay. Now look with me. So this is the first mistake, and then yeah, he says, you "Okay, one. okay." Uh -huh. He created the man from a clot. Do you know what a clot mean? Yes. What a clot? Tell me what a clot mean. A clot. Uh, see, English is not my first language either. My so. friend, this is Quran in Arabic, not in English anyway. So what, yes, yes. So what uh, the clot? The, mean? Uh, the clot is like. Um, how do you explain it to you? Hmm. It's a dead of blood, my friend. Yes, yes. Okay. How how such a such a mistake can happen? A human being it's is created from dead blood. You said what is clot? Dead blood. Dead blood. Okay. Okay. Alaq is dead blood. And this is okay. your Islamic translation in front of okay. you. Okay. Create the man out of mere clot of congealed blood. 
How in the world anyone can believe in that? This is a mistake. This is not science. Okay. A human so being, what, a human I being, have... a human being is not a created from blood. He is a created from a sperm, which is going to the egg, and the egg will go to multiply, not even the sperm. The sperm deliver the DNA, activate the egg, and the egg itself start multiply. So what a, what what a, what a kunji the blood is talking about? So Allah first he created I, the blood and then the blood started started growing. No. Okay, so this is a mistake. <laughs> Another mistake. You see, this is the chapter you gave me. Let us see how many mistakes. Mistake. Yes, yes, I'm listening. Okay, to you. here the Muslims they said proclaim. It doesn't say proclaim. It says Iqra. Iqra in the name of your Lord. Okay, he is the one who taught by the pen. What pen? Who is the one who learned by the pen in Islam? Muhammad learned see, by the pen. See, like like I told you that I understood this thing, this this whole ayah and everything uh -huh. is this. This is for not just for Muhammad. It's for the whole ummah. My friend, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Allah taught nobody by the pen. This is a lie, because simply the pen is not even an Arabic word. Is not created by Allah. The pen is something created by nations are not Muslims. Not even by the Arab. The word Qalam, the Quran says, Quran and Arabia. We made it a pure Arabic, but the word Qalam is not Arabic. So, how he claimed that it's he taught Farsi, right? Huh? It's Farsi. Well, there is many origin for it. I don't, I don't want to go in details, but but for sure it's not an Arabic. Even the Muslim scholars agree that the word Qalam is not Arabic. So, yes, even not. the word Quran is not Arabic. I mean, Quran itself is not Arabic, it's Aramaic. So, he taught, uh, he taught the use of the pen since when? What is that? You know, so mm -hmm. Muhammad here, all what he's doing, he's trying to, to make Arabic music has no meaning. Look what he says. Uh, so he's trying to keep the, the, the same the, uh, uh, rhythm, rhythm in the, in the, in the music. So because he's doing that, he, uh, the verses come with no meaning. Now, as long as we are talking about this, you, you asked me to go here to talk about okay. this one specifically that he created him from a uh, 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 cloth, right? Yes. Okay. If we go to different verse in the Quran, we will see the following. Okay. <clears throat> he didn't tell me how in the world God can be God and he said such a thing. We made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Sperm will turn into dead blood. What is that? It's not so. <laughs> it says that in front of you, my friend. It's not yes, me who's yes, saying that. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, so we yes. made the sperm into a congealed blood. This is impossible. This is false. And then the sperm became a clot. That's stupid too. Because what is that? Well, there is no egg here. It's the sperm transforming from a stage to a stage. The first stage is dead blood. Dead blood doesn't grow. The reason Muhammad he says that because he noticed when women so, they have the, the a miscarriage, the blood come out and the blood is dead, the baby is dead. So he thinks mm -hmm. this is how the baby is created from a from a blood like this, solid dead blood. So he come with this mistake, and then he says that uh, and then we made the uh, we made out the loom and then we uh, with uh, bones and then the we close the bones with the flesh and etc. So based on your prophet teaching. Every stage by itself happen in a certain time, and the others they are to follow, but this is not true. The bones they start shaping from the beginning, they are soft, yes, but they are bones. The organs they start shaping from the beginning, they are small, but yes, they are exist. So, this is absolutely false statement. If we go now to the hadith to, to, to understand what Muhammad is saying, who like who knows what, what he meant in the Quran better than him, Muhammad, right. You know better than mm -hmm. me and you, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let us see how Muhammad explained this verse for us in the Quran. Read with me carefully. He said, The drop of semen remain in the womb for 40 days or 50 nights. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Do you agree? When a Drop remains in the room for 40 or 50. Okay. 
According to science, sperm can live up to five days maximum. I don't have knowledge about that. I will search for you. I will show you on the screen right now so you can see with me. Okay. Uh, let us see. Read with me carefully, please. This is I just search in Google. You can do the same. Since the sperm can only uh, live for maximum of five days, do you see it? In where? No, I can't see that. I'm showing on the screen. Um. Okay. Okay. So how maximum? Five days. But not in the womb. My friend, the, the sperm doesn't go. What? What womb? The sperm. What womb? The sperm can live inside the women no. for maximum okay. for five days. And so, no, that's <laughs> does it. what? One sec. Hmm. I want to Google that too. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Did you find it? Um. Yeah, just one sec. I'm sorry. So obviously, your prophet he just added fifty, uh, added zero to the number fifty to number five. Okay, yeah, okay. I couldn't find anything on Google. Okay, so you're a prophet. He cannot be a prophet of God because here we go. Even the life of the sperm is is a is a false statement. He said forty or fifty, and then angel come and say, "Oh my Lord, will be his good or evil?" As you see, and he is claiming that the last stage in the creation is male or female, and this is absolutely false. The right away when they have the fertility immediately the gender of the baby is determined not at the end from the beginning when the sperm right away go inside the egg right now now we know if it's a male or female so this is again a, a, a silly mistake read with me this one here the same story your prophet saying the same story so this is a very repeated story from your prophet proving to us that your prophet cannot be a prophet of God mm. And now if the Muslim they want to say to me this is weak well, this is not weak and by the way even weak hadith is accepted It is sahih. There's nothing. It's called weak. It's a lie What happened through centuries the Muslim they start filtering Things which is not suitable for Islam because obviously Muhammad can't be a prophet if we accept them so they start saying this is weak and this is strong and etc but as you see now it is a strong i am i will not be surprised if after 20 years from now the muslim they will say this is weak there's no way we can accept this but it's strong okay so how this is can be a prophet of god mm -hmm. okay yeah i will take talk to uh the scholars <laughs> i know and I will try that they talk to you right. and you guys have a healthy debate yeah. without cursing out each other oh no I don't really you know for me I I speak to uh, did I curse you no okay did I insult you no okay because I'm trying to be as respectful I can no my friend I speak to people in their language which mean if you want to be rude well uh, you know I have to deal with you in the language you understand mm -hmm. if you are a nice person I am nicer Okay. Okay. So if a Muslim he called me to call me names and to insult, well, he he brought to himself what he brought to himself. Yep. You know, life is like a mirror. You speak bad, you receive bad. That's true. Don't call me and insult me. Here we go. You are a Muslim. You call me. Say we are all this time talking. I did not say any any word to you. You know, mm -hmm. and and look, we are having a conversation. I give you time to say what you want. Yes. And I can say what I want. Other Muslims, yes. in order to avoid debate, they keep talking. Uh -huh. Because they are panicked, they don't know what to do. They are scared to let me talk because they knew that this is a guy. His name is a Christian prince, and he is horrible. You know, we do not know what he know. So if we let him talk, he will, you know, he will do what he usually do. So the only way is we call him and we keep blah, 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 we keep talking, mm -hmm. and this is the only way to stop him from from getting Islam busted or even to ask us questions. Sure, sure, yeah, okay. yeah. I will try that. Somebody can go to that guy and 
you guys have a conversation. No problem, my friend. Thank you for calling and uh, feel free to admit your Skype and you can call me anytime. Sure, thank you. All right, take care.